नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम यू आर वॉचिंग यू आर ऑन चैन ए सी एस टू एंड टूडे वी आर हेयर विद जून प्रिडिक्शन दैट मीन्स मंथली प्रिडिक्शन फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जून फॉर ऑल ट्वेल्व असेंडेंट वट दिस मंथ इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग फॉर यू हिंदी वी आर ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड एंड इंग्लिश ऑन डिमांड सो मेनी मैसेजेस लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैनेडा हु विल फर्दर एक्सप्लेन दिस जून मंथ फॉर ऑल ट्वेल्व असेंडेंट Yes, so much, 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 much. Thank you so much. Let's go to June. It's going to be a miracle month because here some good things are happening. Mm-hmm. So these are the events that are happening. So on thirtieth of May, that means end of the May, Venus will en- enter Cancer. Mercury enters Taurus on seventh of June. Sun enters Gemini on fifteenth of June, and Saturn will start moving retrograde. This is the biggest event of twenty twenty three. June twenty twenty three, and Mercury enters into Gemini on twenty fourth of June. So this is how it is. All the transits are placed for June. Now moving forward, for Aries ascendant people, you know, we can see the position of planets according to your chart here. So Venus will enter into Cancer on thirtieth of May. That means it will be in the fourth house for Aries ascendant people. Fourth house here in it is the in is is the house of inner peace and house of you know uh, luxuries. and when venus the planet of luxuries comes and sits here it's going to be very good but we have to understand that venus is maraka 100% maraka for aries ascendant people because it rules the second and the seventh house and maraka means killer very simple killer that means venus is not an auspicious planet for aries ascendant people so here venus in the uh, fourth house can create little bit trouble in terms of your career and health and health especially of your mother you can even have problems related to vehicle or vehicle accidents or you know some kind of issues or some kind of expenses in your vehicles during this period so venus uh, is going to be very 50 50 depends on the natal placement of venus in your chart if it is exalted if it is sitting in very good houses then there can be a complete different um, way venus will act but other than that um, you have to be careful during this during this period from 30th of may onwards but on second 7th of june rohit ji mercury enters into taurus that means into the second house of money and this is a good favorable period because money can be seen during this period lots of domestic peace happiness can be seen during this period and uh, you know you can expect a very good conjunction of sun and mercury here that is both aditya yog it will not be very close conjunction but at least they will have each other like they will have each other for like 7 8 days till sun enters gemini so because sun is also here and rohit ji we can expect some good gains or some good decisions in terms of your decision making power will increase during this period mm-hmm. and from june 10th to 20th rohit ji sun will enter into gemini now sun enters gemini on 15th of june rohit ji and every 15th of the month 14th or 15th sun actually makes a transit mm-hmm. see so sun enters gemini it is a very friendly sign for sun it is the house of communication house of personal interest so during this period make sure your Uh, your communication actually will automatically be very effective because mercury is sitting in the house of speech and secondly sun is sitting in the house of communication so it will be very good make sure because sun is a very aggressive planet so don't uh, do any kind of wrong uh, you know any kind of heated arguments with anyone that, that is your neighbors or your brothers or your sisters it can lead to some problem now rohit ji the thing which we need to talk about very carefully is the Saturn moving retrograde in Aquarius on seventeenth of June. Now here, Roiji, it is the house. It is the eleventh house of gains. I have made an actual video, very good video on this. That Saturn getting retrograde here will help you or give you time to actually work on, uh, you know, repairing, work on going work like going to the past and thinking about what you have done wrong and try to repair it. So here, this is the house of your friends, your social network. your uh, gains your business partners partners from gains so it is also the house of gains through illegal or illicit manner so make sure if you have done anything wrong in that way when saturn becomes retrograde you know it is going to be happening for 5 months it is not a small period till 4th of november right rohit ji mm-hmm. 4th of november i guess yes so it's going to be a difficult period you have to make sure that this is the time that god is giving you uh, to actually go back and start focusing on the things which you have done wrong and mm-hmm. come back and make it right during this 5 months 
it does not mean no don't uh, go on astrologers who are saying that your money will go you will money will be destroyed saturn no saturn has nothing to do with that saturn is just going to be making sure that if you you know sometimes we regret that oh we have done this mistake we want to repair it you know we just want one chance we want to make it right to the other person this is that time when you will get that chance to make it right make sure you do that after that mercury will enter into Gemini, okay. Again, Rohit ji, Mercury coming into the own house. This is the best period from 24th of June onwards. Mercury will come into Gemini, and this year we can expect a lot of good stuff for uh, Aries ascendant people because the house of communication, Mercury gets sitting in the own house, and here Mercury rules the health also. So that means, um, because of someone's advice, because of advice of your neighbors or of your friends, of your family, you might be able to overcome some of your debts or your health-related problems. So it is a good period for you. Make sure you make the most of it. Aries ascendant people during this period, Saturn um, uh, upasana should not be done, and mostly upasana should be done of Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva, because Saturn is getting retrograde due to the poison, the energy consumed from Lord Shiva during the time Lord Shiva took poison. There is a very separate video of Saturn transit. You can go and search on my channel. It must be a very recent video in English and Hindi both. Both ways. So, Ruiji, this is how uh, Aries ascending is placed. Thank you very much. And uh, this is to be noted that all predictions are divided into three parts. So, you get weekly as per as monthly prediction in one single video. And thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, last two three days, there are so many family members come to the uh, you know AC Astro channel and subscribe. Uh, the channel thank you very much and those who are new please subscribe the channel and you can also join us live for free birth chart analysis and those who want a detailed birth chart analysis one to one video consultation with akashi they can just drop your details on the mail id or on the whatsapp number given below and team will contact you and you will get a video consultation now moving further for the taurus ascendant what this month is bringing for you let's see yes Ruiji, for taurus ascendant people here uh, there are there are three divisions as you said June 1 to 10 June 10 to 20 June 20 to 30 the biggest movement in this month is Saturn moving retrograde in Aquarius now before that Roiji here let's see the ascendant lord the ascendant lord Venus is supposed to be moving in the third house of communication on 30th of May and listen so uh, you know Venus has given moon the most important house of this um, of this uh, natal chart that is the house of hard work. That means hard work will be, you will have to do a lot of hard work to achieve your goals. During this period, if you don't do hard work, there will be a lot of trouble. Now, a very good thing for lot all the really for all the people is that from 12th house, Mercury is now entering Taurus on the 7th of June. That is in the in the first house, in the house of a friend. Um, it is going to be very, very good. Uh, here you can expect lot of inner confidence lot of uh, self uh, driven confidence and also your communication in terms of uh, expressing yourself will be improved after that sun will enter into gemini Roiji, on 15th of june and because it is entering into the friendly sign and here let's see sun is given the house of domestic comfort the fourth house and it is going in the second house that means sun will give very good results in terms of money some money which was not coming to you, some money from your family which was not coming to you, some money which was uh, you were not expecting that money will come to you during this period. Family life can be uh, better in this period, but make sure that you do not do any kind of heated arguments with your family members because sun is a planet of little bit of temper. So make sure you be calm and composed in this period. Saturn, you know, starts moving retrograde. This is the most important uh, thing which I want to highlight for june is that saturn is going to be retrograde from 17th of june onwards now it is a 10th house retrogression with you so it means very clearly that any kind of problem any kind of things that you want to repair in your career is the thing you need to focus on right now you need to focus on repairing your career you need to be focused on repairing your uh, status in your society you need to be repairing your reputation during this period. this is what saturn means that by any means, if you have caused any harm to any employee or any friend or any colleague, it is a time to go back in time, remember that, and ask for forgiveness. Number one is that. If you are thinking that your job will go and listen that, that is not going to happen. But yes, Saturn in the own house being retrograde, 
it is supposed to be giving you a chance, a second chance. A complete video is made on Saturn moving retrograde in Aquarius. I have made it. Now I'm going to be making another video, Rohiji, where I'm going to be talking about Saturn moving retrograde in Satavisha Nakshatra. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, what happens, Rohiji? Why I'm telling this? Sometimes uh, we take a medicine and we think, yes, we are getting healed. But what happens, you know, that medicine is not actually healing you. That medicine is actually destroying your other part of your body. So that is why second opinion is very, very much required. So that is why whenever Saturn is moving backward in Satvisha Nakshatra and you're going through health problems, the second opinion is required that moment because Saturn is telling you go back and repair your uh, your status of your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From June uh, 20th to 30th, Rohiji, Mercury will enter into Gemini. That means in own house, second house again because Sun is also here. Jupiter, uh, Mercury is also here, they will have a close conjunction later on and you can expect good money, good money gains, promotions, money gains, anything that is good is going to come to you. It is a very auspicious um, what is it, conjunction and it is going to be very beautiful. You have to be little careful regarding your expenses because we have we don't, shouldn't forget that Jupiter and Rahu are in the 12th house and uh, it can cause some kind of expenses. So your money will come and go, it will go also at the same way. So make sure you are you are focused on saving up. And thank you so much for Rohiji, everyone who has subscribed to us on the channel. And those who are watching this right now, please subscribe below. And uh, some people will, the haters will come and say that, yes, we are begging for subscription and all this kind of stuff. I don't even care about it because... Lots yes. of people will come, Akaji. And you know, the biggest crime in this world, in this life is when you judge someone. That you are doing this thing, you are doing this. What you are doing, just see yourself. Leave other people. Just <laughs> I, do I read a I read a comment today that mm. uh, Akash ji, super chat is everything for you, and uh, you are gonna get doomed. Your life is gonna be destroyed. Your career yeah. is going into this place and that place. You know, this kind of people are very frustrated. Akashji, every person have a problem in the life. You must have some problems. I must have some problems. But if you are cursing someone, I was listening to very big astrologer. I will not name him. He was telling that if you curse someone, you will get a biggest disease like cancer. Last uh, day for yesterday, I listened to this video and I was so shocked. And he said very surely, he said, if you curse someone, you will get a biggest disease like cancer. So never curse someone. They are haters. Let them do. It's okay. Let them do our karma. Sometimes we have to understand that everyone is not going to the right. I am not angry. I have stopped, stopped being angry. I am very angry listening to this thing. What kind of language this is your, your mother will be destroyed. He was written all this. I deleted him. Your mother will be destroyed and this and that. Who are you to talk to me about my mother? I will take care of it. My karmas will take care of it. Right? <laughs> Foolish. Crazy. Anyways, we'll be moving forward. Uh, thank you, Taurus Ascendant people. Sorry of this personal talk here, but it was important. Heat of the moment. Let's go to Gemini Ascendant people, Uh Thank you, Gemini Ascendant people. All the people who have joined our channel, uh, we are new or who are watching for the first time, please subscribe and show support. Uh, we want to grow as a family. I was just uh, mentioning before in the last uh, Ascendant that there are haters who come and say a lot of things about, uh, you know, some people, they don't get a chance, right, to speak to me or whenever I am live, I am not able to take to them. So they take it on. I tell you one thing. Four months back when we have not started the channel, I usually, you know, study astrology and go through the different channels. I go through so many astrologers' channels and they they have said one common thing on in the comments, which I read and in video, that some people say, come and say like this. I say, how this is possible? I also watch so many videos. I never comment like this to some astrologers. So this is a common thing with all astrologers that people, some people frustrated people came and they just, you know, uh, write this type of bullshit thing. So this is, I think, with all astrologers, they are doing. They yeah. go to different channels and they do this thing daily. <laughs> so it's okay up to them. For Gemini Ascendant people, okay, so this, this is divided into three parts, June 1, June 10 and June 20. So 10, 10 days. From June 1st of 10, Venus will enter in Cancer and it is the second house. Now, let's see what moon has been given in this house so moon that is mercury's mercury's father so moon has been given the second house of family second house of uh, money second house of uh, you know self-respect or uh, status 
Now, why has uh, Mercury given this? Because because Moon, there is a very Vedic story where Moon has uh, you know illicit relationship with the uh, wife of Jupiter, Tara, Tara Mata Tara, and uh, they had a child that was Mercury. So that's why Mercury gave Moon the second house to under make him understand the value of family. Mm. The value of family. That is why Moon has been given the second house. So you know we have to understand uh, astrology in very minute details. That why these planets are given or these like why the owner of this chart that is Mercury has given these places to other people. Mm. So whenever Venus comes here, now Venus has been given the fifth house, the fifth house of destiny and the twelfth house of losses. Okay, so destiny and Purva Punyan losses, Moksha also given to Venus. He is a very, very good friend of Mercury. Now we have to understand that second house Venus uh, whenever comes, here it can give you good money gain, gains in money, royalty, gains in um, uh, you know finances, but <coughs> a disturbed family life. Mm. So make sure during this period you focus more yourself, self-effort, because human have 30% free will. So make okay. sure that 30% free will is used completely towards Helping yourself and your family. From here, Mercury will enter into Taurus on 7th of June. And Taurus is the 12th house. Again, Royalji, the owner of the Lagan is coming in the 12th house. So if long distance journeys are planned, that is good. If spiritual activities are planned, that is good. But if there are some expenses which are standing on your head, this will fructify during this period and your expenses can happen. Okay, so you have to be careful. Venus will give money. Jupiter, uh, Mercury will make sure that expenses happen. Chorogy from June 10th to 20th, Sun will enter into Gemini on 15th of June. That is Lagan. That is the ascendant. And whenever Sun is in ascendant, look at the house where Sun has been given. Sun has been given the third house. Lot of hard work on yourself. You will do a lot of hard work on yourself, your personality, your decisions, your, your appearance. You will do a lot of hard work on it. <coughs> Very good. Now moving forward, the main the main thing that is happening is the Saturn. The Saturn starts moving retrograde in Aquarius on 17th of June 2020. This is the time, this is the ninth house. It means that spiritually, whatever, or from this life, karma, good karmas, whatever earnings we are doing. Here, Saturn moving retrograde in this Aquarius makes, uh, you know, a very important statement here that if we are doing anything that is lacking or anything which has hurt our gurus, our teachers, our mentors, we have to go back and study about it. We have to go back and look look at it and then react accordingly. This is what Saturn retrograde here means. It means that if we have done anything wrong with our fathers, we have to revisit again and we have to make things right with it. This is what Saturn means. There is a full video on our channel uh, with Saturn moving retrograde in Aquarius on 17 June, both in English and Hindi. So if you want, you can go there and listen to it. It will be an eye-opener for you. <coughs> Now, from June 20th to 30th, Mercury, the Lagan Lord, will come into Lagan. That means it will take complete control of the first house, of yourself. So you will be completely very much confident in very much determination. Your decision will be very wise. You will be making sure that the second transit that has happened has have been honored. You will be taking the right decision with right knowledge and wisdom during this period. Also, Rahu and Jupiter in close conjunction in the 11th house. So it also means that Rohiji, during this period, there is a lot of gains of money. And Venus is also in the second house. So money is coming, but decision, taking wise decision is more important. Zero yes. Right said, wise decisions and uh, decision to subscribe our channel. Thank you very much because last two videos in 24 hours are big hit. You have subscribed, you have blessed us. Thank you very much. And this live was also very good. We tweeted. it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for such more meaningful videos with Vedic stories. And you can also join us live. We do on weekdays, weekends, anytime we come. Just press the notification button. And if you want a personal consultation from Akaji, you want to get the benefit of his knowledge, you just drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number. You will get video consultation. Now moving further. Time for the Cancer Ascendant. How their June month will be. What are the challenges? What are the rewards? Let's see for the Cancer Ascendant. Okay, Roiji, here, Cancer Ascendant people. For Cancer Ascendant, Roiji, uh, Rahu, uh, what is it? Uh, Rashi transits for June 2023. So uh, let's now talk about the Ascendant. The Ascendant Lord is Moon. And Moon uh, has given Venus two houses here. 
that is the fourth house of luxury and the eleventh house of dreams. So that means whenever Venus will come and sit in the lagan for here, uh, and also Moon gets exalted in the house of Venus also here, right? This is also very important to be. So that means this is a good period for you. Moon coming, uh, Venus coming in the first house is going to be making you more bright and more attractive, attractive personality during this period. But when Mercury enters Taurus on seventh of June, this is or show that your gains will start increasing because Mercury is a very good friend of um, uh, Mercury is a very good friend of Venus and whenever it comes to the house of Venus, it's supposed to give you a lot of gains and your goals. Your, if you have set a goal for some something in June, you're going to accomplish it. <coughs> Roji's son. Now it is important. Sun enters the twelfth house. Twelfth house is the house of expenses, the house of moksha, the house of liberation, the house of spirituality. So here, when sun enters the twelfth house, it is the period when you have to be very careful because let's see the house which sun has been given. The second house, second house is maraka. The sun is maraka. You can have some health problems during this period. So make sure that you take care, good care of yourself. So Venus is in the first house. That means. Uh, there can be food poisoning. Remember and tell me, cancer ascendant people, if you get food poisoning during this period, when sun enters Gemini from 15th of June onwards, you need, need to comment below. Because it will be an eye-opener for me also. Because that is what I have learned. Whenever the Maraka comes in the 12th house, there is some kind of poisoning. Food poisoning, uh, you know, stomach upset, loose motions, all this kind of stuff. So health becomes a little bit problem. Now, the biggest event that is happening is Saturn starts moving retrograde in Aquarius on 17th of June. Rohiji. Now, it is the 8th house of deep sudden ups and downs, deep knowledge, 8th house of affect signs, 8th house of the house of the inheritance. So here, if you have taken inheritance in terms of, or you have taken inheritance by cheating, if you have taken anything by wrong means, if you have done some kind of gambling, which was not right, and your family does not know about it. It is the time for you to go back reverse and rectify your mistakes. And come forward and be very true to your family or anyone that, you know, I have done a mistake. I'm sorry. And let's move forward with all peace and happiness. I know it sounds very easy, but it's difficult. But yes, this is the time of Paschyatap. That means going back and listening or learning your mistakes and coming back again in this five months till 4th of November to make sure that you start repairing your mistakes <clears throat> from Roiji, um, uh, when june 20th to 30th and 24th of june mercury will enter the 12th house and 12th house is the house of mercury here mercury will not give you any loss but it will give you more and more inclination towards spirituality more and more inclination towards yogic practices more and more inclination towards you know moving out going to a long distance journey this is what is going to happen to you during the month of June 2023. And there can be many other things related to your career because Jupiter and Rahu are in close conjunct in the 10th house. So a very good career advancement of growth is also seen during this period. Those who are trying to go abroad, since your Lagna Lord is coming in the 12th house. So here it also says that a travel is possible in that. So Ruiji, for Cancer Ascendant people, I would like to thank them Ruiji, with a lot of uh, heart. And you know all those people who are watching, please subscribe below. Uh, right now hit the subscribe and just write subscribe so that we know that you are a new mem uh, family member and we can then talk to you directly. Uh, we reply almost to every, almost, we try and reply to everyone who is on our channel and who is, uh, you know, fan of Vedic Astrology, who is supposed to be very uh, eager to learn about Vedic Astrology and their life. So thank you so much. Uh, it says the world is one family, so you are now a family member. Roji, moving to Leo Ascendant. So Leo Ascendant people, Roji here, uh, from June 1st to 10th, Venus will enter into Cancer on 30th of May. Now let's see what has, what is Venus supposed to do in this chart. It is supposed to be a very, very important planet in terms of their third house, that is their courage, that is their hard work, in the 10th house of career. And it is going and sitting in the 12th house. We need to be very careful. All the Leo Ascendant people need to be very careful during this period because there can be some losses, but it can be avoided through spirituality. Make sure that loss becomes a loss of time and you do meditation, do extrovert, the introvert sadhana during this period. Be very, very introvert. Be very, very relaxed. Be very, very, don't communicate anything wrong to anyone. Then Mercury will enter into Taurus on 7th of June. And when Mercury enters into Taurus, Roji, it is the time that if there is problem in job, 
Mercury will try to save it because it is the house of Venus and Mercury and Venus are very very good friends and the Lagnesh the Lagna Lord is also in the tenth house so if there is any problem uh, it will try to save you and you will be working very very hard to prove yourself and that prove thing will give you good of good results in on fifteenth of June onwards because that results will turn into gains. That result will turn into your higher goals coming true because whenever Sun goes, the Lagnesh goes into the eleventh house and has a friend, that means it will give you good result here. So Sun can give you good results. But the biggest event is happening when Saturn starts moving retrograde in Aquarius on seventeenth of June in the seventh house. It gives you clear indication that if you have done anything wrong in your relationship, if you have done anything gone out of relationship, if you have done wrong with your business partners, it is the time to come back. Come to them, speak to them, and tell them, you know, I am wrong. I have done this wrong. I am doing this wrong. I did this. I need to now improve myself. If there is any problem, differences between husband wife or going through divorce, it is again a chance for you to five months till November or fifth, fourth of November to think about it and reconsider. So basically, it is the time to go back, think about your situation, and reconsider about the seventh house that is relationships. Moving forward, Rohitji. Mercury enters into Gemini on twenty fourth of June. This is very good again. Now here, Mercury is supposed to be the the Lord that is supposed to be giving money, family happiness, and also higher goals and gains is achieved by Mercury. Here, Mercury is the most benefic planet after Mars. Mars is supposed to be the most benefic planet for Leo ascendant people. Mars is making no movement. That's why there is no talk about Mars. But yes, Mars is the yoga karka because it is the owner of the Trikoon and the Kendra both. So, but Mercury also is no no less. Mercury is number two in line. Mercury is supposed to be managing your funds and your brain in 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 this uh, lagna. So make sure that Mercury when enters into Gemini, you will gain a lot of money. But that money can convert it be converted into loss because Venus is sitting in the twelfth house. So be careful. Do not overspend. Be very vigilant about your health also because Venus is in the twelfth house. Your health can also be affected. Mostly your stomach area and your legs, and also your throat. Three things you have to be careful. You can get a lot of cold and cough during this week. Rohit ji, and thank you for uh, Rohit ji. All the Leo ascendant people, you know, everyone who's watching right now is subscribing and writing subscribe down below so that we can know their new family members and we can comment thank you or we can talk to them about their problems. Rohit ji. Definitely, thank you. And uh, overspending for the Venus uh, Leo people. I know my friend who is going to take dining table this month. He is also Leo. Thank you. Already, my uh, Venus before only it was moving. It is done. Okay. It's done. Yes. So dining table is came or yet to came? Dining table is already in. Like it will be coming in three weeks, but he has already paid the money. Already paid the money. I was very, you know, uh, I'm happy to see the dining table. So I want to see. Okay, okay. So three weeks it will take me to see. Congratulations for your new new dining table. So your Leo prediction is correct for you even. Okay. So thanks very much to all of you who just become the family member and those who are already yes to you also because we are now the extended family of twenty three thousand. Soon end of the month we will be twenty five. I hope so. And if you are new to this video, please subscribe this channel and be a part of family member of ACS Group. And those who want a detailed analysis of chart, those who want to you know match a chart for marriage or anything, you can you can just drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number given below. You will be contacted by team and you get a video consultation from Akash. Now the moving further time for the Virgo people. They are waiting. What this June month promises for the Virgo people. Virgo ascendant people, let's see. Yes, so Virgo ascendant people, uh, see now. Let's see the Virgo ascendant and what house has been given to uh, Venus. So Venus owns the second house of money, okay, a lot of money, and the ninth house of Bhagya, and that is both the houses which are uh, not Kendras. So that means it is a very good uh, uh, planet for uh, Virgo ascendant. Now it enters the eleventh house also. That means all the gains which they are waiting for. Is going to happen for them. All the goals which were they are supposed to be finalizing, it is going to happen for them. Mercury will enter into Taurus on seventh of June, Rohit ji, and it is that means in the ninth house. And Mercury, being the 
owner of the ascendant and the uh, and the tenth house of career, it is going to make sure that by destiny, by luck, you will get some career or some career option or some job offer or some new job or those who are not getting job can get a job. Also depends on the dasha and antar dasha also currently, but still uh, it is this uh, transit is going to be very very effective for you. From there, Roji, sun will enter into Gemini on 15th of June. That is the 10th house. Again, there will be growth in career. But you will have to travel. You Some people who have uh, the placement of sun in a very different way or, you know, sun rules the 12th house. So it shows travel. Also lost. So some people might, you know, get a job but not be satisfied with the money and all. And they can, they can, they can self-reject, they can reject the job. But my advice is that if you get a job even at lower price right now, just take it for now. Now, the biggest event that is happening in June is supposed to be Rohitji. Saturn starts moving retrograde in Aquarius on 17th of June 2023. And Saturn, when moves retrograde in Aquarius on 17th of June 2023, it is moving in the sixth house in your daily world, in your loan, in your debts, in your you know relate, uh, things related to your enemies. So this is the time when Saturn is telling that, you know, we are giving you a chance to rethink about, you know, rethink about your that um, events which you have done, which has led to some kind of issues to you, which has led to some kind of problems in your health, some kind of problems with your, uh, you know, um, some kind of problem with your uh, daily work or your workplace. You have cheated someone, you have been behind someone's back. You have done wrong for someone. This is the time, the five months from 17th of June till, till 4th of November for you to actually rectify that. So make sure during this period you start rectifying those things. Yes, Roiji. After that, Roiji, uh, if you see Mercury will enter into Gemini on 24th of June 2023 and Gemini is supposed to be the 10th house where Mercury actually owns that house. So here, if you did not... You know, you said, no, we want more time to think about the job and the salary is not good, X, Y, Z. It is the time that your career will be revived again. For those people who are in a job, career can be revived. For those people who are looking for a job, can get a new job. So for Virgo Ascendant people, overall, it's going to be a very good and pleasant time. And I would request uh, all the Virgo Ascendant people who are watching right now, thank you for subscribing. And those who have not subscribed, subscribe and write below subscribe so that we know that you're a new family member. And we will be replying to you in short duration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Off to you. Yes. Thank you for uh, very much. And uh, this Virgo Ascendant people is getting a pleasant time in June. And please be a part of family member of ACS2. Subscribe us so we also get a more pleasant time. Pleasant we feel when we you know spread this video to more people. So we want this. Please help us in this noble cause. And those who are new to this video, please subscribe us. And those who want a personal consultation, I repeat this thing because lots of people ask me this thing in comments. So I think please, uh, this is my duty to speak in this video. You know, lots of people have a one common question. 70% people say, job, my job, my job is lost. When will I get job? I am not progressing. There is one term called estocatography. This is a term which tell you that in which part of the world you have to do the job. You have to start the business. There is a success point for you. And this is a proper chart reading for astro cartography. If you want this reading, you can also, you know, share your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number given below. And Akash will do this a very special reading for you. It takes time, but yes, he can do. Thank you very much. And now moving further to the Libra Ascendant people, let's see what the month of June is bringing special things for Libra Ascendant people. Yes, Reggie, for. Libra ascendant people, like K. M. Rao says, Libra. <laughs> June first, June tenth, June thirty. We have divided this video into three parts. Now, Roji here uh, for Libra ascendant people, Venus will enter. The Venus is the Lagna Lord and enters into the tenth house. Now, see, the Moon has been given the tenth house of career in this ascendant, and uh, you know Venus is the most benefic planet for this uh, ascendant. Here in the tenth house. Venus is going to give good results in terms of uh, getting a little bit of... Venus is the planet of luxury, so good luxuries can be expected in the workplace. Those who are going through very mental stress and all, maybe their boss will resign <laughs> and go away from their life. It can happen. So luxuries will come forward to them. 
and um, after that roy ji uh, the mercury will enter into taurus that is the house of venus and that is the eighth house here it can give you sudden transformation and that is why i am saying you know your career will be revived in some a way that means you will have a sudden transformation in your life and uh, mostly family life balance will be uh, more uh, it will be activated during this period you can have more good family life balance and also in a way the conjunction also says that there can be some inheritance related queries or inheritance related uh, you know talks in your family later roy ji sun will enter into gemini on 15th of june that is the 9th house now let's see sun has been given the 11th house so that means during this time your destiny is going to be rising there is some kind of good thing that can happen which can lead to gains and that will be happen through luck there will be luck completely favoring you but on 17th of june aquarius you know aquarius you have to see the sign of aquarius where saturn is sitting it will get come retrograde in the 5th house so anything related to you know uh, number one children anything related to creativity anything related to your inner happiness anything related to uh, education knowledge if you have taken anything in a wrong way or if you are you know portraying yourself in a wrong manner uh like like you have done some kind of cheating in your education some kind of cheating in your cv some kind of cheating in your uh to get a job or to get things or you have to come back again and redo that you have to make sure that you make your uh actions you know undo your actions because saturn in, in this retrograde period gives you a chance to rectify all the mistakes that you have done according to your fifth house so make sure you do rectify all the mistakes if you have doing a startup you need to again go back and think that is it the right thing right way how do i go about it how do i start it am i being ethical am i being very good mm. this is also the house of money so if you have also earned any unethical money you have to make sure that it went goes back to the source because anything earned unethical will go back to some place which will have no use mm. roji then from june 20 to 30 mercury enters into gemini into the 9th house again so now here mercury is the owner of and ruler of your destiny that means again your luck will increase to the most and there will be a close conjunction between mercury and jupiter here so mercury and uh, sun here so it again shows that there will be very very good chances of you getting higher gains long distance travel getting higher learning you know visit of a guru or you visiting the guru place and that is going to happen for you in a very good way long distance journey is also seen great for life and people and thank you so much for subscribing those who have subscribed or those who are subscribing right now please comment below subscribe so that we can know that you are a new member of the family and we will remember you and we will talk to you and we will see you in the live shows yes happy to get always new members because uh, you know uh, these days when we do live akash you personally call every person with his name hello marish rahul ji how are you pupa ji you know you are just like now family members we can know with you oh, not only in india across the world so thank you very much and if you are new to the channel please subscribe us be a member of family of this channel and you will get some more meaningful vedic videos vedic astrology on this channel and also you can be a part of live which is you know these days every day and you can have a benefit of that with bar chart analysis but if you want that thing in detail you have so many questions to ask then you can go for a personal consultation which is a mail id and whatsapp number given below just drop your details and team will contact you and you will get a video consultation one on one with akash now the time for the scorpion people to know this that june month is progressive or depressive what you know it is a very good month that is that's why i told you lucky lucky june oh wow <clears throat> because you will be able to get a chance to go back and uh, you know um, rectify your mistakes mm. from june 1st of 10th roji venus will enter into cancer on 30th of may now let's see uh, venus the, it is it it rules two houses here the 7th house is a maraka and the 12th house sorry uh, 7th house maraka and again 12th house which is the house of moksha or liberation or losses or you know we can, we can say um, expenditure now venus coming in the 9th house here you have to become very spiritual during this period 
during during june you have to make sure that you are very spiritual otherwise there can be problems in your relationships as well as problems emotional problems in your relationship and by emotional problems you will have emotion you will have losses you know that can be possible because ninth house is given uh, here moon rules the ninth house that is the house of dharma so if your dharma is good you will not get any problem but if your dharma is bad then you can get or have some issues mercury will enter into taurus roji on 7th of june that means mercury when enters taurus in the 7th house all the problems caused by uh, venus will be rectified by mercury with proper knowledge and wisdom this is what it means here expansion in terms of you getting some kind of new contracts or maybe your house built during this period if you want to start that work it is a very good time for you from roji june 10 to 20th sun will enter into gemini on 15th of june and that means the 8th house so suddenly sudden ups and downs can happen in your career so remember this in your career but that ups and downs will be for your benefit you will not be off job but yes you will have to make sure that you work very hard during this period to actually keep the job in your hand now the saturn movement retrograde in aquarius on 17th of june roji so this is going to be happening in the fourth house the fourth house of domestic peace comfort the fourth house of mother the fourth house of vehicles the fourth house of uh, houses if you are in the market to sell your house or vehicle it is time to you for to stop not right now you have to wait for three four months now don't do it anything in haste uh, it is the time for you to then revisit all the problems that you have created to your mother all the appreciation which you have not given to your mother all the things which you have not um, accomplished in terms of family balance it is the time for going back listening learning them writing them down and then rectifying them one by one because whenever saturn gets retrograde it gives you time to rectify time to rectify that is any problem that is related to that house so you also need to be the same after that will be mercury and i have made a full video on saturn uh, retrograde in hindi and english both so you can go and watch it on the channel it is it must have been recent video now roji mercury enters into gemini on 24th of june so mercury enters into the 8th house the 8th house of himself that means here you can have some kind of supernatural mystic experiences in your life something will very much change there will be a transformation happening in your life you will be you will be overly communicative you will be you cannot you will you will be overly communicative but you will be not expressive you will not be able to express that the kind of thing that is happening to you suddenly you will find some you know that box you open it and it is gold inside it so that is the kind of thing you're going to be getting you don't take it literally i'm just saying that gold can be knowledge also otherwise people will say sir you told uh, i will open box and find gold i open box and find uh, only worms there or nothing there <laughs> so that means knowledge knowledge will be increasing for you in this period so it is a good period and thank you so much scorpio sun people those who have subscribed right now and those who are subscribing right now and commenting below thank you so much for being a part of our family and uh, we would like to welcome you here and uh, i'm going to be replying to you individually thanking you whenever you subscribe zero h thank you very much and uh, this is a third video in a row in uh, 24 hours this is your power you know social media algorithm say put only two three videos in a week then you will get lots of subscriber lot of the lots of this we will not go by social media algorithm we, we go by our family algorithm if family said need this video we immediately put it thank you very much this is your motivation and power that we are doing this please subscribe if you are new to the channel and if you want a personal consultation from akash then also you can just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below you will get a video consultation detailed consultation with akash now the time for the sagittarius people what they will get in june let's see yes we so from june 1st to 10 let's see sagittarius so in this chart venus has been given the 11th house and whenever venus uh, and also the uh, roji the 5th house of disease so whenever venus will go in the 11th house uh, whenever the venus will go in the 8th house here so it means this venus will give some kind of gains in terms of uh, in terms of money because it makes a vipreet raja yoga that means the owner of the 6th house sitting in the 8th house so it means a vipreet raja yoga so here you can expect good gains during this period and very secret suddenly sudden gains because 8th house is the house of sudden ups and downs so suddenly mm. gains you will get in, in a good way <clears throat> now moving forward to mercury mercury will enter taurus that is the 6th house of venus during this period mercury will not make any kind of raja yoga but still it is sitting in the house of of 
friends that means through communication you can get good gains in your workplace through communications you can overcome your enemies through communications you can uh, you know uh, find the right medicine or find the right problem which is happening in your life so it is a good period moving on sun will enter into gemini that is the seventh house here it is a challenge because sun rules the Nine thousand minutes. It's levels from itself. That means you can, you will be able to achieve higher goals in your partnership and in your contract, contractual jobs. But there will, because Sun is a planet of separated tendency as well as a, a very hot planet, and it is called Krura Graha by Parashara. That means it is very, very egoistic and violent. So here there can be some problems with your uh, relationships and family relationships. So you have to be careful. Now the biggest event that happens in June is the Saturn retrograde. Saturn will be retrograde from 17th of June onwards till 4th of November, if I'm not wrong. Yes, five months. Yes, Saturn will be for 140 days. It will be retrograde. <clears throat> in the uh, in the third house of fam, in the third house of personal interest, in the third house of communication. So now it is the time for you to go back in time and understand that what kind of foul communication you did with other people, which made them hurt. What kind of problems you created to your neighbors? What kind of problems you created to your younger siblings? This is the time to rectify that. If that is, if, if you have not done it, then very good. Saturn will give you very good results. But if you have done any kind of problems, you have to just think about it. What have I done? It is the time that Saturn, it is a grace period for you. That Saturn is saying, before I become direct and start being violent with you, just make sure you try to, I'm giving you a chance again to go back and rectify your mistakes. Any mistakes from the third house, uh, which we see communication, social media, some rude to someone like people who are rude to us, who say that you know Akash sir will uh, what his, his career will end and he will die and his mother will be having very bad fate. <laughs> I don't even care about what they're saying, but you know sometimes it's hurtful to read such comments because what have I done for you? I did not take your chart in the live sessions because 80, 90 people or 100 people were there. And I was I was doing my job. Very people well. are there that are the concurrent viewers. But if you count like something in one hour, then I think 1,000 to 1,500 people visit that. Yeah. Uh, I am not a superhuman to take that chart, right? That is. Yeah, you are true. not chat GPT, no? You could think <laughs> that. <laughs> Anyways, so the thing is that, yes, you have to go and rectify that. If you are listening, anyone who has done that, rectify it below. <laughs> because Saturn will give you good results. If I have done anything wrong, I will get the wrong result. Okay, so it is not uh, only you who will get this. It is, I am also in part of the ecosystem. I am also part of, if I am doing anything wrong by heart, I will make sure that um, I will get that result in front of you only. I am not going anywhere. You are also not going anywhere. Now here Mercury will enter into Ruiji Gemini on this in the seventh house on um, uh, 24th of June, where it will come and take over all the problems which is going to work in your relationships, in the relationship which is happening to you, um, you know, all the problem or the egoistic uh, issue which was going between your relationships. It will come and take, give you wisdom, knowledge, so that you can rectify your mistakes and you can move forward with a very smooth relationship. So thank you, Sagittarius Ascendant people, those who have subscribed right now, those who are putting the subscribe button, please write subscribe below so that we know you are a new family member and then we can be in touch with you. Thank you so much, Adi. Thank you. Thank you. Ruji, moving forward for Capricorn Ascendant people, here from June 1st to 10, June 10 to 20 and June 23rd, we are divided into three parts. Venus will enter Cancer on 30th of May. Now let's see, what, has, what houses have been <coughs> Venus doing? So generally, Roji Venus have been given the two houses. That is the house of creativity, the house of kids, and the house of career. So that means these people are completely depend on the Venus. So now those who are in partnerships, those who are in any kind of uh, relationships in terms of partnership career, or those who are looking to get married, those who are looking to get a partner's yes or no, this is the right period for you to propose. This is the right period for you to... Uh, get into a partnership. This is the right period for you to start a new business. This is the right period for you to change your job or get expect good promotions or your relationship will be get better with your uh, with your uh, colleagues, with your bosses. Mercury will enter into Taurus on 7th of June and Taurus here is in the 5th house. Again, Mercury entering this house, make sure that your decisions will be wise in terms of 
uh, any kind of things related to the seventh and uh, you know uh, in, uh, Venus, anything related to Venus, because it is coming in the house of Venus. It will give wisdom to Venus and activities which Venus are Venus is doing during this period. Now, Sun will enter into Gemini on fifteenth of June into the sixth house. Very careful. We have to be very careful because sun also rules the eighth house. It makes a Raj Yoga, but sun is a Krur Graha. It makes Vipreet Raj Yoga in this house. But it will make, it is a Krur Graha. That means it can even give you problems related to stomach or heat boils, problem related to excessive acidity, problem related to constipation, problem related to some operation. Some operation can also happen. So you have to be very, very careful. And I am saying this only because Mars is the fourth house lord is right now debilitated in the seventh house so it can give you problems during this period now moving forward Roji, the biggest event that is happening Roji, is saturn saturn is moving retrograde in the second house and second house is the house of Roji, your family your money now here it shows that if you have done anything wrong if you have done anything wrong in terms of your family if you have done anything wrong in terms of getting money illegally or illicitly or with some uh, you know unethical way, it is a time for you to go back and start working on your on your uh, paschatab. That means on your uh, you should start uh, resolving all the problems. You should start making sure that you accept all these mistakes and start rectifying them. And that is now up to you. How do you do it? You know, it is very. If you have done anything wrong, that is that is when. If you have not done anything wrong, then there is no nothing to be worried about. It is all going to be good. So make sure you do a lot of good deeds during this period with your family, in terms of money. You should be very doing it in the future. So then from June 20th to 30th, Mercury will enter into Gemini. That is the sixth house. So here, the all the problems which are happening and you, your enemies were very fearful on you, and you know your health was not um, good. You were not getting loans and debts. All the things were stopped for you. This is the time then that can happen. It can start becoming good for you. Because when Mercury will come and sit in the own house, it is going to be giving you good results in terms of processing all the things. So enemies, your communication will make sure your enemies now turn friends to you. Your communication will make sure that you will now get loans for which were delayed for you. So it is overall a good period for Capricorn Ascendant. And thank you for subscribing to our channel. And right now, those who are subscribing and writing, subscribing, subscribe below. Thank you so much. We want to know that who has subscribed and who are our new family members. And we want to connect with you on live sessions which happen almost every day now for one hour, every night and every, according to you, day or night, I don't know which country do you belong to. So I hope that you become a part of our family and we can be able to help you at least whenever your chance comes, at least one person. So that is what my wishes are right now. Moving forward, Roiji. To Aquarius Ascendant, but I think before that, I would like to take one minute water break. You can talk to the audience. Yes, thank you very much. Much needed break, and uh, I think thank you very much from my side also. You know, the, saying thank you a thousand times doesn't matter, but saying wrong word even for one time hurts someone. So we as a brothers, we as a channel, we always say thank you to all our subscribers because you are family members. You are here. That's why we are doing this thing. So thank you very much for subscribing. And those who are moving, please be a part of our family member. And those who want to personal consultations, as I read the comments, they all ask about how to. Sometimes maybe this is so small band. Sometimes they are unable to read. There is always information on this video, mail ID and WhatsApp number. Any point of time, you just drop your details and you get a personal consultation, video consultation. No matter. Now let's moving again to the Aquarius Ascendant people. Their Lagan Lord is going retrograde in this month. So how this June will be for the Aquarius Ascendant people and this retrogression is happening in Lagna itself. Yes, Ruiji. So for Aquarius Ascendant people, Venus will enter into Cancer. Now let's see what has Venus been given this, the houses here. So it is the house, the Sukhastan and the Bhagyastan. So that means Venus is Yoga Karka for Aquarius Ascendant. Okay, the Sukhastan and the Bhagyastan. It is just like uh, it rules Kendra and Trikona both. And it is going and sitting in the sixth house. Now, this is a matter of little bit of difficulty. So, your Sukhastan and your 
Bhagyastan planet has gone in the sixth house. So here you have to be very careful in terms of your health. Especially your mother's health and the health of your father. Parents' health is very, very important during this period. Because both the houses, the, sec the fourth house is the house of your mother. The seventh, the ninth house is the house of your father. And both the, pla the planet has gone and sat in the um, sixth house for you. Also, you have to be careful from an enemy. You know, there can be someone who will look very good and very good on the on the face, but back of the uh, thing, it can become an enemy. So do not share any kind of secrets with your associates or with your colleagues. Make sure you are very much straight and you're just talking to the point to your colleagues because that is what is more important. If you be very open, they can start using it against you and you can be in trouble. Okay. So make sure you do, you remember that. Now, Moving forward, Mercury will enter into Taurus. And Taurus is the house where Mercury is very comfortable. Because Mercury is a very good friend of Venus. So it comes here and it makes sure that you get a little bit of comfort. And comfort that is through a buying of a vehicle. This is a good time for you to buy a vehicle. or a, Also to sell a vehicle or to sell a car. It is a very good period. Thank you. Moving forward, Roiji. Sun will enter into Gemini, the fifth house. Now Sun here rules your partnerships. Very good time for you to get into partnerships, get into any kind of relationships. You know, you may find some love life. There can be some spark in your life that you may start liking someone. Or if you want to start something with someone in terms of a partnership, like you say, let you know, we have an idea. Let's start something in partnership. It is a very good time for you. You can do very good, very well here. But after that, the biggest event happens also learn a lot. Saturn will start moving retrograde in Aquarius. Luigi, Saturn will start moving retrograde in Aquarius and that is the first house. And when it starts moving retrograde here, it can have a lot of impact on the, on the mind of Aquarius ascendant people because oh. the mind. So you have to make sure during this period, you ask yourself, your mind, that what have I done wrong to my own self? What decisions have I taken wrong? How do how have I portrayed myself to the outer world? Am I a good? Uh, have I been coming across as a good person, as a bad person? What is happening? How is the world looking at me? And if you have, see there is any problem, you need to go back and rectify. You need to rectify that how you know uh, how and how can I be a better person? Yeah. That is what is required during this. Then Mercury will enter into Gemini. And also, Roji, before I go, I, I would like to tell that I have made a full video on uh, Saturn being uh, retrograde in the house of, uh, in, in this house, uh, in Hindi and English. So it's a complete video on why the Saturn gets retrograde, how it, why it started, why he got retrograde. So, so many things. And what is the burden it is taking on? I have discussed everything in the video. So you can go there and understand from there. Now, Roji, here, also, one more thing that uh, Mercury will enter into Gemini on the 24th of June. So that means any startup, any love relationship which you were doing, now it is a time for you to add wisdom to it, add knowledge to it, add, you know, your mind will be working very, very positively. And you can expect uh, some good, you know, good outcome out of it. Your money, money power will increase. You, If you are uh, trying to raise funds during this period for some project, yes, you can be getting good investors. So overall, equity assessment people, a very good month for you. Make sure you go back and rectify your mistakes. And those who are subscribing right now, thank you so much. And those who are subscribed already, thank you so much again. And those who are subscribing right now, please write subscribe below so that we know that you are a new mem family member. Roji, what do you say? We love to welcome new people, right? Definitely, we love to welcome new people. The only reason is that our main agenda, main target is to spread astrology spread Vedic things all around the world. So as may, more as uh, people will be the part of our family, part of our channel, it is easy because, you know, uh, every time I check the weekly reports also, there are around 1,000 shares, 2,000 shares. People also share this video. Thank you very much for this kind act also because your sharing is caring for someone. Somebody can know about his predictions or her predictions. Thank you very much. And those who are new, please subscribe. And those who want a personal consultation with Akashi, video consultation, detailed consultation, so many questions, you can just drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number below and team will contact you and you get a personal consultation. Now, the month of Pisces, uh, month of June for Pisces people, uh, 
uh, what is it what it going to bring for you people let's see because i think this uh, saturn retrogression is going to happen in which house Uh, for Pisces and people from June first to tenth, Venus will first enter into Cancer. Now let's see Venus. Venus rules the eighth house, as well as Venus rules the third house. That is extreme hard work and sudden ups and downs. So Venus is not favorable in this chart, and it is moving to the fifth house. That is the house of you know your education, the house of your children, the house of creativity. So during this period, you will find very hard to crack creativity, to be kind to your kids. In in fact, in your studies, there can be some kind of delays. So make sure that um, you do a lot of Mahalakshmi Puja. Uh, Mahalakshmi is the deity of uh, Lord Venus. So if you do Mahalakshmi Puja, he will become happy and he will give you good results. Other than that, also depends on the natal placement of Venus. This is just transit, right? And also depends on Venus Dasha and Antara. So if you're going through, then it is a problem. If you're not, then there is everything is chill. Now, Roji, Mercury will enter into Taurus on 7th of June. Now, this is very important because third house, the house of communication and the house, the Lord of communication is coming in the third house. Here, your communication power will increase. Your relationship with your family members like your brothers, sisters, neighbors will be very harmonious during this period. And uh, if you want to write something, you want to apply something, you want to make your CV, it is a very good period for you to write down your new CV and, you know, start applying for jobs. Also, there may be some short distance journeys also for you. Nobody's about it. Then Sun will move into Gemini. Move into Gemini on 15th of June. That means the third house. Now here, Sun rules the sixth house. It's the house of diseases. And it is coming in the fourth house. So you have to be very careful in terms of any problem or anything related to, you know, um, your dust in your house, cleaning your house, in your car. You know, you can get through some uh, problem. Also, you have to make sure that you... Eat well during this period. You be you maintain a very good uh, level of uh, you know um, balance in your eating habits. Secondly, your mother's health can also be a trouble during this period because um, you know sun is supposed to be ruling the sixth house and that is the house of diseases. And when it comes and sits eleventh from itself, it can give you gains in that house. But that gains will be related to the sixth house. That is gains in the ill health of mother. You don't want that. Problem to mother in kind of debt. You ask your mother during this period that does she need some kind of money help or something? Maybe she might be going through some problem. After that, Rohit Saturn will start moving retrograde in Aquarius on 17th of June. And this is the 12th house retrogation. Now, this is the time you need to dig into yourself and ask about all the misdoings that you have done to earn money or, you know, you have skipped your spiritual beliefs just for material gains. And go back and start learning and thinking about it that, you know, I have done this wrong. No problem. Everyone does a mistake. That is why we are human beings, not God. So we have to now ask for forgiveness. We have to be more spiritual during this period. We have to uh, start repairing all the problems which we have done. If manipulation, if anything, you know, in our health also we have not taken care of. We have to now ask for forgiveness. Saturn is a planet who gives forgiveness. So if you know that, yes, you are going to be uh, you, are, you you did this and there is a problem, ask for forgiveness, it is going to be a good period. Then Mercury will enter into Gemini. Also, Ruiji, before I move forward for Pisces and people, I have made a full video on Saturn's retrogation that what will happen, how it will happen, why it happens. A very good video. You can go and uh, search on the channel. It is in English and Hindi both. So however you are comfortable in, you can listen to that. And Mercury will enter into Gemini on 24th of June. Roji, now Mercury enters into the own house. Here, Jupiter has given Mercury the house of domestic peace, happiness, inner peace, and a satisfaction, luxury. So here you can expect that all the problem that Sun was giving here will be solved now. Will be solved in a very good way. You can get good comfort. You can get good, uh, you know, if your, your car and your um, house is on sale or you are supposed to be purchasing them, this is a good period of you to go forward. So, Ruiji, all the Pisces Ascendant people also, Ruiji, we could request. Thank you so much. And uh, who, are, who is subscribing right now, who are subscribing right now as we are talking. Thank you so much. And if you have subscribed, write subscribe below so that we know you have subscribed and we can talk to you or, you know, message you personally. Ruiji. Thank you very much. Thank you to those who subscribe and thank you who are the new to the family. Welcome to the family of ACS2. You will get this type of videos weekly, you know. 
uh, about Vedic astrology, stories, predictions, transitions, nakshatra readings, everything you will get here. You will also get the uh, live, which we do on weekends and now weekdays also. You can be part of that live and, live and ask your first one question for free, no problem. But those who want detailed chart reading, uh, those who want to match uh, their birth chart for marriage, those who want their uh, astrocatography reading that is for the job or the foreign settlements and anywhere in the world. So that for that, you have to drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number given below. Team will contact you and we will have a personal chart reading video consultation. Thank you once again, AC Astro family. Thank you very much from the heart and from all the AC Astro family members from all the ACS crew team. Thank you, Akaji, to you too also because you do lots of research, tell us lots of stories. And the most important thing, after doing this hard work, you also take all the heat from the people what they bullshit write. So you <laughs> happily, smilingly avoid all these things. I just pray for that people. That's a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Akaji. Thank you very much. We'll meet you in some another video. Till then, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman.